So now we'll talk a little bit upon what are standard libraries and what are the basic libraries we need to know about in order to code or in order to program in Arduino IDE. Before or it is moving our discussion specifically to Arduino IDE and related libraries, let us try to understand what a library is. So a library by definition is a collection of non-volatile resources used by computer programs, often for software development. These may include configuration data, documentation, help data, message templates, pre-written code and subroutines, classes, values, or type specifications. So in order to understand what is a computer library, we'll take an analogy. We'll take the analogy of a real life library, a book library. What happens in a real life library is that different books are kept in different sections depending upon their genres. So when a person enters a library, he or she goes to the particular section he or she wants the book from and then picks the book of his choice. Similarly, in a computer library, different innumerable functions have been subdivided into separate, separate, separate libraries and subdomains. So what happens is that when a person or when a programmer wants to use a particular function, he needs to go to that particular library and that particular section and then take that particular function from there and use it to his purpose. So this is how the computer library works. It is very similar to a real life library. So it is a collection of various functions. And as I mentioned earlier, these functions are derived from C slash C++. So we need to know a little bit upon a few of the basic standard libraries in order to operate on the IoT systems. And these libraries will also be used in the project demonstrations, which will follow after the four modules of theoretical discussion. So let's start our discussion. Number one is the SPI.h library. Now this particular library allows us in order to set up communication with SPI devices. SPI devices are a class of devices where SPI stands for Serial Peripheral Interface. We'll talk about what exactly do we mean by SPI and what are the SPI devices in the model number four. But for now, we need to understand that SPI.h is the library which allows us to set up communication with SPI devices. Now the general format or the general syntax of including a library or basically approaching or basically using a library is hash include less than symbol, the name of the library and then the greater than symbol. Next up is sd.h. The sd library provides us useful functions for easily writing and reading data from an sd card. This is pretty self-explanatory. liquidcrystal.h. This library helps an Arduino board in order to control the liquid crystal display LCDs. Wire.h library. This library allows you to communicate with I2C, that is inter-integrated circuit or TWI, that is two wire interface devices. What is I2C? What is TWI? We'll discuss this briefly in module number four. Software serial.h. This particular library helps us to set up serial communication on other digital pins of the Arduino by using software to replicate their functionality. Servo.h. This library allows the Arduino boards to control a variety of servo motors. ESP8266 Wi-Fi.h. This library allows us to connect our ESP8266 module to a Wi-Fi network and to interface with it. With the help of the library, we can use the Wi-Fi network to send and receive data. This library is of most, is of most importance to us because it will help us to interface with the, Ar with the ESP8266 board, which is the primary candidate for all our IoT applications. You don't need to get intimidated with the names of these libraries and you know, uh, get confused by what library, what different libraries do. You always have the documentation available for them. And we'll definitely walk you through the entire process of writing a code. So in order to write a code, you need to know what are the basic commands and what those basic commands do to, as, to give us a particular output. So we'll take a brief look on the different kinds of commands which are required in order to write a successful program in Arduino IDE. Number one is pin mode. The pin mode function is used to configure a specific pin on Arduino board so that the pin can behave either as an input pin or an output pin. On configuring the pin as either an input or output, 
That configured pin can detect the state of the devices which are connected to it. Syntax of the command is as shown on the screen. Digital write. If the pin of the microcontroller is configured as an output pin, then in that case, digital write can be used in, or in order to write a high or a low value to, the digital, to a digital pin. The syntax is as shown in the, on the screen. Delay. The main function of the delay command is to suspend the execution of a program for a particular time mentioned within the parenthesis. The syntax is as shown and the number that we uh, mention in the parenthesis are in milliseconds. Now you can see on the right side, right side of your screen, there is a code snippet. This code snippet, I'll just walk you through what this code snippet is doing. The void setup function. As we discussed earlier, setup is used in order to mention all the basic things that are required in order for in order to successfully execute a program and get an output. So then the setup pin, we have to mention the pin mode of the pin under consideration. Over here, we are considering pin number five as the pin to operate on. So pin number five, as you can see, is set as an output pin because we have, we have, we have, we have written five comma output within the parenthesis. So this is all that is required in the setup of this particular code. Now then we go on to the loop function. In the loop function, the first command that is written is digital write bracket pi comma high. This means that we are writing the command high to pin number five. What does that mean? We are setting the voltage level at pin number five to high or a higher voltage value. Then the second code line in the particular code is delay bracket hundred. That 100 within the parenthesis represents delay of 100 milliseconds. Pay attention to this. It is not 100 seconds. It is 100 milliseconds. Then moving on, digital write 5 comma low, which means that you are now writing a value of low. You are lowering the voltage at pin number 5 after a delay of 100 milliseconds. The next command is delay comma 100, which is again a delay of 100 milliseconds. So what is this code doing? Basically, let us take an example that an LED is connected to the pin number five of this particular uh, module with a microcontroller, sorry. And when this code is uploaded on the microcontroller and it is run, what will happen? The pin will just blink. It will turn on, it will stay on for 100 milliseconds and then it will turn off and it will stay off for another 100 milliseconds. And this will continuously keep happening because as I mentioned earlier, whatever is written within the loop happens continuously until the program is terminated. So this is what is happening in this particular code snippet. The next command that we are looking at is digital read. This command is used in order to read the logic state present in a particular pin. This command can tell whether the voltage at a particular pin is either high 5 volt or 3.3 volt or the voltage is low, zero volt. The syntax is as shown. Analog read. Till now we have talked about digital read and write, which means those pins which we write to as digital read or digital write can only deal with digital data, that is binary data. Analog data is not binary data, it has wide range of values. So while writing about analog read, analog pins can store any random value from 0 to 1023 where 0 indicates the ground signal or 0 volts, while 1023 indicates 5 volts. There are 1023 levels between 0 volt to 5 volts. Analog read function indicates that the user is making the pins as input because you are reading it. Syntax is as shown. Analog write. Analog write helps in controlling the motor speed or the intensity of any LED. As uh, if we want to run a motor at full speed, then we will set the maxim, uh, maximum value to 255 to run it at full speed. Now, what is the difference between, uh, between controlling the uh, intensity of LED with the analog write and the digital write that we used earlier is that in case of digital write, we only have binary values. Either it's completely off or it's completely on to its full brightness. In analog write, we can control the stages. We can basically Paid in an LED and paid out in an LED, depending upon the value from 0 to 255. 